Hey everybody, welcome back. Now this week, as promised, I'm going to show you and teach you how to close the I want to think about it objection or how to make that client that says I want to think about it buy your product today. Stay tuned. Okay, so if you're new here, this channel is all about success mindset, achieving success, and sales training videos just like this one. So go ahead and subscribe to this video because I come out with content all the time. So in the 48 Rules of Power, it actually says subscribe to this channel. Now, first of all, if somebody actually tells you they want to think about it, at the end of your presentation, your presentation was wrong. Don't argue, it was wrong. Now stay with me because at the end of this presentation, I'm going to actually show you what you can do if you made that mistake. Right now, I'm going to teach you how to do this so that you don't get that objection at the end. You see, this objection has to be closed or it's better to be closed early on in your sales pitch. Now, in my other video up here, I actually show you up here. Now, if it's not working, I'm going to leave a link in the description below as well, because sometimes this magic finger thing doesn't work. <laughs> but in this video, I actually show you how to make your clients embarrassed to say they want to think about it at the end of the presentation. But there's a few more steps that you have to take. So the second thing you're going to have to incorporate in your presentation is create urgency and make them believe, for example, that there's a 25% discount today only. It can be 20%, it can be anything, it can be an extra product, it doesn't really matter. Now, if you don't know how to do this, I'll create another video in the future explaining the best and most efficient way of doing this. Now, keep in mind that this video that I'm making right now, I'm basing on my experiences in the timeshare industry and how I handled this objection and how I taught other people to handle this objection. But if you're having problems in your own industry and you cannot customize it, comment below and I'll help you out, I promise. So this is what we did. Before we priced them, we asked them a couple of questions. First of all, do you like it? Because if you don't like it, obviously you're not going to buy it. It's so just the way things go. Now, if you like it, can you use it? Because I don't care if you love it. If you can't use it, then this product's not for you. <laughs> yes? <laughs> now, if you like it and you can use it, do you understand it? Because if you don't understand it, I won't give you one because here we sell holidays and I want to make sure you understand what you are buying. Now, if you like it, if you can use it and you understand it, I'm going to ask if you can afford it. Or you have to ask yourself if you can afford it, because if you can't afford it, you can't have one. I'm sorry, I'm nice, <laughs> but not that nice. <laughs> okay, and just do a little takeaway. Notice the takeaways I do in within these questions. Now, if you like it and can use it and understand it and can afford it, we're going to ask you to buy it. Now, if you say yes, we're going to shake your hand. We're going to welcome you to the club. We're going to call Katerina to come here and give you your gift as we promised at the beginning of the presentation. We will then do the paperwork and escort you to the door. We will thank you again, wish you a happy holiday, and tell you to come back and see us anytime you like. Our doors are always open for you. Now, if you say no, that's okay. We'll, st we'll still shake your hand harder, and we'll still escort you to the door. The other one. Katerina won't be there. Abdul will be there. He will give you your gift. He will push you out the window, you will fall down, and he will throw the gift on top of you. No, I'm just kidding. We will still shake your hand and, and say thank you for your time, give you your gift, and that's okay. This product isn't for everybody. We understand. The only thing I don't want to hear is these stupid excuses like, I want to ask my mother, <laughs> I want to ask my auntie. I want to think about it. I want to ask my big yellow canary because we know these are all excuses. They are. 
You know it, we know it, yes? I'll give you an example. And here, you're gonna tell a little story. Now here's what I say, and you can change it and customize it. So I was walking in Oxford Street in England, in London, and as I was walking, it was cold. Cold in England. And I saw this beautiful jacket in the window. It was beautiful. I walked inside. I'm like, let me see this jacket. Now the saleswoman, she was about this high, I still remember, this high. She's like, hi, sir, of course. She took the jacket down, gave it to me. I took the jacket, I put it on. She kind of helped me. I put it on. It was beautiful. It felt great. It had some nice lining. It draped well. It was suede and it was also leather. So it had that difference and it was black. And I'm talking deep, deep, deep black. <laughs> yeah, I loved it. Yeah, so I looked in the mirror. I looked 10 times better. <laughs> okay, which so I needed it. <laughs> okay, so I liked the jacket. Yeah, I knew I could use the jacket. I mean, it was cold outside and I definitely understood what it will do for me. So I asked the price. She said, of course, sir, 5,400 pounds. I slowly took the jacket off. I very slowly folded it and gently put it back onto the counter. And I said to the saleswoman, I said, um, do you guys take credit card? She's like, yes, of course we do, sir. I'm like, okay, do me a favor, put it on the side, don't let anything happen to that jacket. Don't let nothing happen to it. I wanna think about it, I'll be back tomorrow. Do you think I went back? No, of course not. <laughs> and neither will you, because let's face it, if you have to think about it, with 25% off the price. What's there to think about with 25% on the price? Now, if you did the financial logic and what I talked about before in the video correctly, this will work. You got them. And then you just thank them for the time and then you go into pricing them, whether it's you or somebody else that comes and prices them for you. And that's basically how you get past the I want to think about it objection. Now, if by any chance you forget to do this, which would be weird because you just watched this video and I actually told you that you have to get this objection in the beginning of your presentation and during your presentation, but if you forget, I want you to check out the description below. I have a link to these two books. They're by Benjamin Gay III. It's called The Closers 1 and 2. And inside, it has answers to all objections, including the I want to think about it and the I will be back. And he has many other objections he goes over and he is just gold. This is just, this is the king of sales books. You know, you just go there. Just trust me, just get it. So that's the end of the video. If you still have questions, go ahead and comment below, ask them, I will answer them. Go ahead and share this video if you believe it provides value and can help people. And go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already because I'm gonna come out with new content, new videos, and a couple of surprises for you. So that's about it. Until next time, keep succeeding.